Greetings. You must be Anna Myers. Guten Abend. Yes, I am Anna. I am Otto. Otto Reger. Owner and manager of the hotel. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed your stay. How was your journey? Ah, uh, not so good. Uh, the snow was very heavy. And I've seen some snowstorms. <laughs> Meine liebe Dame, let, let me take your bags. We can have tea in the dining hall. Thank you, Herr Reger. Anna, come with me to the dining hall. Your tea is served. So, Fad brings you here. I try to get to the Alps every winter. Ah, oh, they're wonderful this time of year. Do you work, Anna? I write for a magazine in Zurich. How interesting. What do you write about? Politics. Sometimes I write about my passion, crime. How intriguing. Anna, some very strange things have been happening here in the hotel. Uh, would you help me investigate? Of course. What is going on? Ah, little things. Often difficult to explain. For example, the hotel keys. Poof! They vanish. And then, poof, they reappear. How curious. Yeah. But yesterday, a photo album with pictures of all of the guests disappeared. When did it go missing? Yesterday. Shall I help you look around? Yeah, yeah, come with me to the reception desk. Look, another key is missing. Maybe it's somewhere here. Let me see. Found a key. 
Let me see. Yes, that is the missing key. I must be tired. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome, Otto. Did you, by any chance, see a top hat and an umbrella? Uh, Mr. Peterson has lost them somewhere. Who is Mr. Peterson? A very wealthy guest from Munich. Uh, you shall meet him tomorrow. Uh, could you help me search for them? I think he left them outside the hotel. They are probably covered in snow. I would be happy to help. Danke. Thank you. I will give them to Mr. Peterson. Now, if you will excuse me, I am very tired. Do you mind if I have a look around? Of course not. Uh, you can go to the hall, play some board games and relax next to the fireplace. That sounds wonderful. Thank you. Good night, Anna. Good night, Otto. I think I will play solitaire. What a good game. But now it is late. Before I go to bed, I will search for the missing photo album. Perhaps it is in the cupboard.
Great, I found a photo album. The photo album. But some of the photos are torn out. Anyway, I should go to bed. Otto said that my room is on the second floor, room number five. Nine o'clock already? I need to hurry for breakfast. Where is my hat? I cannot leave without it. Great, I found a hat. everyone. Good morning, Anna. Meine Damen und Herren, please allow me to introduce our new guest, Anna Myers. So nice to meet you, Miss Myers. I am Giovanni Rossi. A pleasure, Mr. Rossi. Uh, this is Mr. Peterson from Munich. Guten Tag. And this is Claudia Perret, his nurse. Bonjour, Miss Myers. Professor Charles Clark from Scotland. Ple Dr. Hartmann from Hamburg. Ben Anna, Frau Meyer. Walter McCain from the United States. Good morning, Anna. I am Father Lenz from Switzerland. And this is Ulla from Sweden. Hello, Anna. Professor Kinski has not come down yet. Ah, he probably drank too much whiskey and played too many games of cards last night. Or perhaps he had the romantic endeavor, Xander. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, sir. It's our lady's present. Excuse me. Anyway, it would be interesting to know how Professor Kinski is. He told me yesterday he was having heart problems. Perhaps someone should go and check on him. I can go. Where is his room? It's on the second floor, room number 10. I will see if he's there. My name is Anna Myers. Are you awake? The door is locked. I will see if there is a spare key. Is the professor in his room, Anna? I called out, but he did not respond. Maybe he's asleep. Perhaps. 
Let's get a key and see if he is in there. That's a good idea. So there should be one in reception. Look, all the keys are missing again. Let's look around. We might find them. some cigarettes I found cigarettes do you smoke Otto nine no let me see Italian cigarettes I wonder where they came from I uh, oh, uh, perhaps perhaps they are Giovanni's he doesn't smoke as far as I know there are no keys gentlemen I believe we should break the door to professor Kinski's room something bad might have happened I agree. Let's move. The door won't open. We need something sharp. Anna, would you go to the kitchen and get us a knife? Certainly. It's in the room, just below us. I found a knife. Good. You found one. Give it to me, please. Great. This is just what we needed. Thanks, Anna. <gasps> is he? He's dead. Oh, my God. It looks like his heart is stopped. 
Maybe he was killed. No, I don't think so. The room was closed, and I don't see anything suspicious on his body. And the girl? Claudia? Yes. She told us that Professor Kinski complained about his heart. So it probably was a heart attack. This is terrible. It is. Walter, could you stay here? Anna, could you please go to reception and telephone the town police and call the ambulance? Absolutely. the police the telephone does not seem to be working yeah it's old and sometimes the wires get crossed could you look into it certainly I tried to fix the telephone, but it is still not working. Yeah, I'm afraid there was a lot of snow tonight. The telephone lines have been affected. What should we do? Anna, can you walk to the nearest town? It's only two miles away. I, I, I would really appreciate it. I will try. How did it get here? I should examine it. <gasps> Great! I found a photo. So soon, Anna. You managed to reach the town? No. There's a crashed car outside the gate, and the road is covered in snow. A car? Is anyone inside? Maybe they're injured or frozen. No, I checked. It was empty. Is there another way to reach the town? No, that's the only road. We had the same problem a few years ago, in the winter of 1928. What should we do? There's nothing we can do. We shall have to wait until the road is cleared. Look, I found something interesting. Yesterday, I found a photo album with some of the photos torn out. And just now, I found a photo. Hmm. Intriguing. Yes, but the most interesting part is this. Look at the photo. It's Professor Kinski. Let's go back to reception. I found something also. I found a photo that was torn to pieces. I'm sure it was taken from my photo album. Place the album and the photo you found on the table right here. We should try to rearrange the photo pieces so they fit the frame. Now, rearrange the photo pieces.
analysis is very interesting. The two photos are of Professor Kinski and Professor Clark. And Professor Kinski is dead. I don't know what to think about this. This is strange. Truly. Pardon me, Anna, but I have guests to attend to and a dinner to prepare. Of course. We shall talk after dinner. Meine Damen und Herren, I have some news I need to share with you. We are cut off from the world. The blizzard was so severe, the only road to the outside is impassable. We should call the municipal authorities. They must come here as soon as possible. The telephone lines are dead, Father. As I said, we are completely cut off. Something similar happened to me in the Himalayas once. I was staying in a small village, and when a blizzard struck, found myself trapped. Oh, what were you doing in the Himalayas, Professor? We were looking for ancient artifacts. Anyway, how long does it usually take to clear the road, Otto? There are a couple of days. Two, maybe three maximum. Siamo nei guai. Do we have enough food to last that long? There's nothing to worry about, my Italian friend. We can last a month if needed. We have plenty of food and drink. Bellissimo! As long as we have food, wine, and the beautiful ladies. I am content. Dalmoro, where is the bella Swedish lady? Ah, Ulla. Si, Ulla. And where is Dr. Hartman? I hope nothing has happened to either of them. Anna, we should go check on Dr. Hartman. His room was on this floor, room number two. Dr. Hartman is not here. This is strange. Hmm. Maybe Dr. Hartman is with Ulla in her room. A man in a wheelchair couldn't go to the second floor, could he? Yeah, klar. You are right. Anna, could you check Dr. Hartman's belongings? Maybe you will find something interesting. I'm on the case. Thank you. 
Great! I found a syringe. Mein Gott! Upstairs! Quickly! Ulla is dead! This cannot be happening. There is no pulse. Is she dead? Oh, my God. Are you sure there is no pulse? Oh, my God. What is going on here? Calm down. We need a doctor. Have you found Dr. Hartman? No. We need to know what happened here. How did she die? It looks like another heart attack. A heart attack? Again? This seems suspicious to me. I want to check this room. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anna, can you check Ulla's room? Anna, I think you should talk to Otto. I found a lighter. This lighter is still hot, as if it was used minutes ago. Do you think someone might have been here? Everything is possible, Otto. We need to find Dr. Hartman. I will try. Dr. Hartman. Anna, what is the trouble? Ola is dead. Mein Gott. Where have you been? I... I was exploring the premises. Have you been to Ola's room recently? In a wheelchair? Is this some kind of joke? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... How did she die? We don't know. Claudia says it may be another heart attack. A heart attack, yes, that sounds correct. What do you mean? Never mind. If you have no more questions, then I would like to return to my book. Please excuse me.
Hannah, come and have some tea near the fireplace. On my way. Where is everyone? It's late. While we are alone, I want to discuss something with the two of you. Yes? I have been running this hotel for 25 years. I have never seen two people dying. And in two days. And two heart attacks. This is just impossible. I agree with you, Arno. It's very unusual, to say the least. Do you believe it is possible to simulate a heart attack? I believe it's quite possible, yes. And who would be able to do so? Someone with medical experience? Exactly. Now, two people were missing at dinner this evening. Ulla and Dr. Hartman. We found Ulla dead in her room. Did you find Dr. Hartman? Yes, I did. And he acted odd. He asked me what happened to Ulla. And when I informed him of her heart attack, he murmured, That sounds correct. I think he is somehow involved in all of this. I agree. But what should we do? I have an idea. If Ulla's heart attack was brought on, then we will probably find something in her room to prove it. We should also examine her body. Let's go then, shall we? Yes, we'll need a magnifying glass. Do you have one, Otto? Oh yes, it should be. Somewhere in the kitchen. Anna, can you go and find it? We will wait for you in Ulla's room. Anna, if we want to examine Ulla, we need a magnifying glass. It should be somewhere in the kitchen. I found a magnifying glass. I found it. Great. Look here. Check Ulla's neck. I think someone injected her. Please, let me. See? She was definitely killed. I'm sure about it. By the way, do you see that liquid on the floor? Yes. Judging by the smell, I would guess it is some kind of acid. We need to pour some baking soda on it. You can find soda in the kitchen.
found some baking soda. What did I tell you? This is acid. I am sure it was somehow used to kill poor Ulla. And Professor Kinski? Do you think he was killed as well? <laughs> That's a good question, Anna. I think we should go and examine his body. Emma, come and see. There are marks on Professor Kinski's neck also. These marks? Hmm. Yes, Anna. These are the same marks we found on Ulla. Professor Kinski has also been murdered. But why? That is something we must find out. Let's inspect his luggage. I can't open it. It has a strange lock. Let me try. <laughs> 